Hello guys, welcome to Photographers Academy. So in this new month, we are just going to be starting this new month with this amazing fire birthday fire on how you can design this amazing birthday fire for your clients. Whether you're a photographer or a graphic designer, so this could go well for you. Mm -hmm. We just posted it from a friend that is having his birthday today and a lot of guys will ask him, how can we get this done, okay? So, and the beautiful thing is that we are just giving out the background that we'll be using. This is the background, we'll be giving it out for free. And I'll also be telling you the name of these fonts, how you can download it and start using them on your works. Okay, so that's quite very simple to do. So I'm just going to be running you step by step on how you can get that done. Okay, so the font that we're going to do is just to come to our file and create a new a new document okay so i'll be choosing four by four inches for this okay four by four inches for this okay leave my resolution to 300 so just like that so to get this um square shape okay so then i'll just come to my image here is the first image so I'm, I'm just going to drag and drop it in this background that i just created okay so look at that. I'm just going to drag and drop it in. So remember, I will convert it to smart objects so that it will not be destructive. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to expand it more. So look at that. Just to get something like this. So to get something close to what we have here. Okay. Just expand it. It's expanded a little like this. Okay. So something like this. So now just the first thing to do. So I'll just come to here, so come to my layer max option. So I'll, I'll just click on my layer max. Remember, your full background cover should be black so that you can actually hide some things, some layers of the image, okay, to blend it with the background. So I'll just leave my full to three, okay. So that's normally how I used to blend my image. So I've blended in this way. So I'll just introduce my background. Okay. Drag and drop my background. So this is just the simplest way you can create this. Okay. The simplest and the fastest way you can get this done. So shift my background to fit in. So drag it downwards. Okay. To get something like this. Okay. So I'm almost getting there. When we watch, I'm almost getting there. So once I so I'll just come to this my my image here, this one here right there. So I have to take it up. Let me just delete it because I've already have it. So convert it to smart object so that it will not be destructive. Okay. So once you convert it to smart object, you just have to make a selection of this. Make a selection of this. So the fastest way I use in in doing it is I normally use my pen to. Why? Because this image is, is a very low res image. So if you see, if I zoom it, it's a very low res image. So if you use other tools, it might not detect the image very well. So that's why I use my pen tool. So I'm just going to fasten this so that I will not get too bored with this process. I'm just going to make a selection of this model. So let me fasten it. See you when I'm done. All right, guys, so once I'm done with my selection, okay, I'm just done with my selection. I'll just click make selection. So choose my radius to be 1.5. Okay, just use my rear max. Okay, yeah, I'm done with that. So you just have to move your, your image. Okay, moving down here to be to fit in just somewhere here. Somewhere close to here, something like this. Okay. Yeah, so we are close to here. So let's look at the one that we did initially and see how it, it was. Okay, someone close to there, so as you can see. So just something close to here, yeah. So let me expand it a little, so look at that. So this is actually how we got here, okay. This is actually how we got here. Looking at what we have here already, so this is actually how we got here at the moment. So now if you notice, the feet does not have a base so you can just create a base a shadow come under this under this layer and create a new uh, and empty layer 
okay, so that you can actually hit it and create a base until I pick my brush, choose my full gun, cover to the back. Okay, so just increase my flow a little. So just dab on it. Yeah, then, then put my shift to just transform it like this. Okay, take it down a little so that I can create that base. I just want to create that base so that our model fit will not be floating. Okay. Yeah, so that just to make our model fit not to be floating. So I'll just come to my filter, go to my bro and Gaussian bro to make it a little bit realistic. Okay, make it to make it a little bit realistic. Add a Gaussian bro to it. Okay, yeah. So, so if you notice now, is our our model is no longer floating. Okay, look at the before, look at the after. So he's no longer floating. So this is actually how we. We get this done by making it not to fruit. So other thing is just to come to this our, our model image. Okay. So this is actually a technique on how we sharpen our image. So this without using any plugin. So you can get this done with your camera raw filter. Okay. So to make it to pop up, to make your image to pop up. So I will just come to my filter, camera raw. I'll just I'm not going to do a, a few changes here. So come to my temperature. Reduce it towards blue. Then come to my exposure. Increase it a little. Okay. Then come to my highlights. Reduce it. Come to my contrast. Increase it a little. Okay, as you can see. So now come to my back. So you can just play around with this to get a, a, something close to what you want. So now I'll come to my texture, increase my texture, increase my texture, come to my clarity, increase it a little, but not too much. Then come to my details, so increase the sharpness. Look at that, increase the sharpness. So while increasing the sharpness, I'll reduce the noise reduction, okay, to give it that beautiful event that you used to see in your picture. So look at before and after, look at before, look at after. Do you see the, the changes that we have achieved by just using this few buttons here? So look at the changes that we have achieved already. Look at that, look at before, look at after. So this is how we achieve this. I'll just click on my, okay. Now look at that, okay. So I can equally apply the same effect here, okay. Come to my to this image, go to my camera roll filter. Okay, I'm just going to click on my camera roll. It will bring me here. Once I'm here, I'll just go to this three dot here and click on apply previous settings. Okay, it will apply the same thing that I've done here. So but depending on the image, I'll just maybe apply a little bit adjustment to it. Okay, so that I can get look at the before, look at the after. Yeah, I'll just click on it. So look at that. Look at how it has transformed our image. Okay. To get something close to this. Okay. If you feel it's darker, I will just use my, come to my blending option, my curves, pin it to this image even, then increase my curves, increase it a little. Okay. To make it, to make this image more bright. I look at it before, look at it after. Okay. Look at it before, look at it after. So this is how I tend up the image to make it to fit in. So now look at that. So I'll just come to this image and flatten it because I just wanted to add more extra filter to it, flatten it, apply my my rear max then. Come to this my bro. Okay. Come to this my bro too because I wanted to blow out here a little. Just this side. I'm just going to apply this blur here more to make them more blurry. So look at that. So that's actually the tools I'm using, getting the more blurry. So with that, so I'm actually, we are almost there. So if you notice, we are almost there, almost there. So then I will now pick my type two, 
my type two, my two, pick my type two. All right, Debbie. Okay. Attention. David. So look at the phone that we use in writing David. So let me just go to my Windows character. So this font, orthography. So, orthography. So you can just go to your browser and download it. It's a free font anyway. So orthography, you can go to your browser and download them. It's a free font. So I'm I'm just going to bring this up, but before then, let's go PS so that I'm not going to obstruct anything, so I'm just going to bring this my pipe up so that it will be up here. So change the cover to be to be white. Okay, to be full white. Yeah, stuff like this. So that's how we actually arrived here. So look at that. So as, so as you can see, maintaining the the same cover. So then. Double click on it to apply a, a drop shadow. Okay, to make it more dimmer, apply a drop shadow, make it more stronger. So increase increase the walls. So this is actually how we we'll arrived at here. Okay. So this happy birthday is actually a font, a popular font. It's still the same font anyway, but let me just copy this one and drag instead of trying to create them again so okay just copy it and drag it so it's very simple so this one is still a normal font that we normally use i'll just i'm just going to drag this and drop okay master i'm just going to drag the master and drop so that's basically how it's been done so all these walls i'm just going to drag these walls and drop so drag these walls i'm just going to drag the three of them and drop so this is actually how we we'll are able to create this so change my auto select to group so that i can actually move the three of them once okay stores like this so this is actually how we we'll are able to create this so one may say how do i get this shape Okay, so it's very simple. Just pick your shape to draw a rectangle. Okay, just make the fill any color that you feel like. Let's say I want green. Okay, so remove a stroke. So just zoom in. Just zoom in. You see this anchor point here. So hold your alt, hold your alt click here. So you are just it will just be affecting one side who do hot click here. So this is how we actually create this shape. Created this shape. Okay, it's very simple. So that is actually how we got to create the shape. Okay. So so as you can see, we almost have the same thing that we are having here. Okay. We're almost there. So another thing that we could do to enhance the work the more to make it look come out fine more beautiful is just to maybe apply a cooling filter okay come to my adjustment layer apply a cooling filter so auto filter so if you have been following our tutorials you will see us using this cooling filter a lot so apply a cooling filter so look at that look at before look at after so look at how it has cooled everything so introducing that wish and calm cover cast in our design okay we can that look at it before look at it after so i'm just reducing it so that it will not be much okay so look at that so we have finally arrived here so let me flatten the whole image to apply our door for you so to apply our door for you so it's actually one of our secret that makes our work so stand out so you see what will happen if I apply our dome for you. So let me just flatten the whole thing. Let me flatten the whole thing. So look at that. I flatten the whole thing. So let me flatten the whole thing and apply our dome for you. So come to my action panel. So come to my. Once you have purchased our dome for you, you will see 
So I'll I'll be dropping the link on where you can purchase our dog for you on a discount price. So if you have not purchased, so it's an opportunity for you to actually grab this to enhance your work, to make your work to stand out. So look at that. Let me apply the dog for you. So I'm just going to choose my Gaussian board to be three. So we are three. So so that you can see the magic. So look at that. So look at it before, look at it after. Look at how it has taken care of our images, retouched them, made them look very, applied the dodge and bones, everything. Look at that, look at it before, look at it after, look at it before, look at it after. So I'm not going to reduce it if you feel like it's too much. So this is how we arrived at this. Look at it before, look at it after. So this is how you can get your birthday flyer looks look this way okay so remember we'll be dropping the background and of course i've told you the name of the font that we use okay orthography yes is the name of the font that we use to write this david okay so you can just download the background and try it on your pictures and to get an amazing work so please do remember to subscribe to our youtube channel if you're not yet a subscriber and turn on your notification button to always get notified each time we drop a new video thank you